Hello everyone and welcome back. So could you believe it that like two days after making a video we're covering the roadmap for year 9 season 3 which we now know as Operation Twin Shells. Uh, they update it and some of the stuff I said in that video two days ago is now no longer true. There has been some stuff delayed, tweaked and they've actually added something quite major to the roadmap for year 9 season 3. Now I will say we still haven't seen a reveal of the season so this is still the early knowledge stuff we know going into this reveal. There's definitely going to be a few more surprises and I also want to look at a thread which Justin the Ubisoft dev posted who in my other video I called Trisha Tome which I was completely wrong with the name his name is pronounced trichotomy but we're gonna take a look at a thread he posted because he's been given a bunch of hints about the brand new season so we're gonna take a look at them break it down all that jazz uh yeah drop a like in this video if you go on to enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into this video so we'll start with the the bad news we'll talk about the stuff which has been changed or delayed so to begin with the siege cup is going to be coming next season however it's only going to be for pc being in a beta phase its full launch is most likely going to be in year 9 season 4 for console and it will most likely be leaving the beta stage there uh, and as well as this is only going to be in north america and eu regions on next season so it will be in beta phase limited to pc uh, instead of na and eu so technically the full release of it is now going to be year 9 season 4 but if you do fall under those categories we will get to play it next season in operation twin shells and something which has been completely delayed to year 9 season 4 uh, is the badge system and the, the new career system. I thought this looked really cool. Sadly, this is delayed to year 9 season 4. I was really excited to see what the badges were going to be like next season. Uh, so yeah, that's been completely delayed. But for the most part, that's kind of all the bad news there is. Everything else I covered in that video is confirmed to be coming next season now. It's fully locked in. They announced some binary hardening and QB system expansion for Anichi. But the thing I'm most excited for is on top of the update for Solus and Dokubi, there has been now a confirmed rework for Nook coming next season. So the only thing they say about it is in year 9 season 3, we'll be bringing an update to Nook designed to improve her usability and playability. So really excited that Nook is finally going to be getting some changes. I feel like there are either going to go down the route of what they were going to do with Nook a few years ago and it's actually went to test server for this and then they completely scrapped it and that was the fact that Nook was going to be able to bypass certain traps like Capcan and I think like Molusi's Banshees and Proximity Alarms. Basically she was going to have a way to bypass a lot of traps which required some form of detonation. I still think this could be a really cool thing especially since she now no longer has her silent step so that could be a really good addition to the game or they may do something completely different i doubt they'll change her loadout they could still do it if we're being honest the issue with nook isn't even her loadout her smg is actually pretty good a lot of people had a sour taste in their mouth the moment that was revealed when that operator was revealed but it's actually a pretty good smg that's not the issue with nook so they really have to lock in and be you know commit to what playstyle they want nook to be so I don't know what they're going to do. We will see soon, but I am very excited to hear that there is a confirmed rework for Nook coming in Operation Twin Shells. Right, let's jump over and cover all the teasers which Trichotomy posted because Bro posted a lot on Twitter. Some pretty good stuff which does reveal some stuff we didn't know before because I believe in here it also does somewhat confirm that this will be a defender. Right, so the first thing he says is, the name is more literal than you think, but it's also probably not the definition you're thinking of. That goes for a lot of the operator. There are many predictions out there, half correct. Now, when he says the name, I'm not sure if he's talking about the season name or the operator name, probably the season name at this point. So if we take the literal meaning of twin shell, is this going to be a weapon which has two barrels or something like that you know i'm quite interested to see how that would go or i don't know maybe it would shoot two different projectiles at once one being a bullet and one being a more impactful round which does something alongside that bullet if the name operation twin shell speaks anything to any of you drop a comment let me know your theories because as justin just said it may be a bit more literal that is if he's talking about the season name and not the operator name of which we don't know yet this next one says all of the balancing this season can be summed up as rainbow ops updating their battery packs maybe this has something to do with the Dokubi change you no know, something to do with the batteries in their phones or maybe this has something to do with 
maybe the activation of gadgets maybe they're now immune to something which they currently weren't before especially since it says all rainbow ops updating their battery packs this seems like it's going to be like a massive change to maybe something like cams or, or phones so considering we're getting a dokubi update this could be talking about the dokubi update and the sort of lore explanation could be that you know they've updated some something and she can't do what she once could but i'm also interested if this is something to do with phones or explosives maybe being able to i don't know blow up a phone in an attacker's hand because if you keep reading it says i hope you and your team know how to check your corners and set up some flank watch or you might be in for a nasty surprise and after this it says careful around explosives so we have an operator that can be quite good for flanking and you also have to be aware of explosives. Now, do you as this new operator have to be aware of explosives or should the attackers be aware of this defender who well, we believe is a defender based on what it's saying as well, you know, flank watch definitely is referring to attack need flank watch because of this new defender so very interesting stuff i'm really enjoying these little hints he's giving because honestly i can't really piece anything together right now but all of this sounds really fun this next one says i want you to try synergizing the next op with doc tell me what happens i sure hope we kept the voice line so that's sort of my confirmation that this is obviously a defender because synergy is when you work alongside someone if this operator is going to be working alongside doc they're going to be a defender but i wonder why you should work alongside a healer is this going to be a defender which has an ability slash gadget which can also damage them sort of like how oryx damages himself when he runs through a wall and then you need a heal to put you back to full health i wonder if it's along the lines of that and for this next hint he just says g bill which we believe is a reference to this sort of old advert where it's like g bill how come your mom let you eat two wieners with emphasis on the name of the season obviously being twin shells two twin coming into play could be another thing where you have two barrels like i theorize or two projectiles being shot it seems like there's going to be something happening in sets of two what that is we don't know but at least it's going to be something along those lines the next one to me it just seems like there's going to be a portal crossover with rainbow six siege as it says a certain aperture core will be happy with the reveals ending which you know they at the end of the reveals they always do like a new elite skin or they reveal like a new crossover is they usually leave like a little surprise for last so with aperture being uh, mentioned that seemingly is the company from portal so it seems like we're probably going to get a portal skin maybe an elite skin for an operator uh, as the next crossover which is pretty cool the next one it says is the biggest feature this season is that jackal gets a whole new set of feet to look at i don't think there's a deeper meaning to this one i think this one is just a joke uh, it got a good laugh out of me uh, but yeah i'm not really gonna look too deep into this one i think this one is definitely just a joke but it is also confirmation that they are a defender the next one says remember to check default cams as soon as prep phase ends it should be easier to do that though maybe you still won't see everything you should which could be in relation to the rework coming to nook are they going to just completely make nook hidden to cameras or I think something that could be quite cool is that if Nook is like looking at a default camera, which a defender is currently on, Nook can then sort of look back through that camera or like sort of do something to it, which will then in turn reveal the location of that defender. So instead of necessarily just completely shooting a default camera, if you see that it's currently being operated, Nook could then maybe use an ability to sort of then reveal your location through that camera you know i know that sounds a bit far-fetched and you know i'm just making this up off the top of my head uh but i think this one is definitely related to nook and i really wonder what it means next one says at least one change should have an impact i think people will be happy about that i think this is another humorous one or there is going to be like one massive change which a lot of people are definitely going to love so interested to see what that could be we have a bunch more to go. I'm not lying when I say Justin did post a lot of these, but this next one says the new op will be more effective in a coordinated team, but even if they don't have that, they can still be very effective at dismantling an uncoordinated enemy. At this point, this has just gave me way more questions than answers. 
Next one says, if you know Wamai's lore, he has an op that can compete with him now. Though, they probably shouldn't go underwater. So, I know Wamai's lore. A big part of it does involve being underwater, but although they say that part, we can completely rule that part out of his lore, and I also assume that means they're going to have something technical about them as well, meaning that they shouldn't get it wet, so maybe another prosthetic limb or some, you know, mechanical part to their body. But I think the thing he might be referring to is the fact that Wamai believes that he, you know, isn't really from this world because of how long he can hold his breath underwater. So he sort of sees himself as like a superhuman. Of course, he isn't. But that's how he views himself because of this unique trait which he's really good at. Because if we read the next one, it says, What if we added a popular superpower to Siege, but in a way that makes it actually make realistic sense? So I think maybe that could be the reference to Wamai's lore with it being sort of like this superhuman ability, but still being, you know, realistic and capable of the human body. Maybe that's what the reference to Wamai's lore is, especially when it says that we're going to get a somewhat superpower, but it's realistic and grounded. And the final one he says is, if I'm not mistaken, the new weapon is present in the official teaser image, but most of us are not looking at it. The season's color may be purple, but there might still be some red herrings. So it seems like maybe we are being misguided a little bit. I do wonder what the weapons on the walls represent, if it has something to do with X rainbow operatives. I believe Kure could use these weapons in older games, so maybe it's a hint to it being Kure. Again, we still don't know if it's her. So maybe the weapons which are blatantly on the wall behind this image aren't actually the weapons we're getting, or weapon shall I say. It does seem like it is going to be one single weapon. So uh, I guess we'll have to see what it's going to be. It could be any of these items on the desk. None of them scream weapon to me, but that could also be the case and it's being more hidden and concealed. So we'll have to just keep taking a look at this image. There's nothing which stands out to me right now, but I'm sure there's probably something in here which we are missing. But yeah, that is the new updates we know so far for the new season before the reveal. We got all those teasers from Justin. We have the fact that Nook will be getting a rework and we have a few things delayed. But yeah, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.